official response was completely bogus. There is very compelling evidence that we uh, we may not be alone. Whatever that means. Scientists have a problem discussing the possibility of extraterrestrial intelligence. They, it's out of the mainstream, and it should not be. The government is supposed to be in charge. That, something in the air moving yeah. at that size, completely still, freaked me out. word around 8 30 or something what took place here was far different than what the air national guard says took place this happened over a period of hours all over the state one of the managers from united airlines called the tower and said do you see that there's this disc shape object up there and it's a very interesting conversation that have been made by credible observers of relatively incredible things Once Project Blue Book shut down in 1970, the whole thing kind of went quiet. The conclusions of Project Blue Book were, no UFO reported has ever given any indication of threat to our national security. There is no evidence submitted that sightings represent technological developments beyond the range of present day scientific knowledge. Phoenix Lights, I'm extremely disappointed that nobody's taken this on. I think that the governor was interested in all of it. When you look at the press conference that he did, you can see he was truly uncomfortable. And I think it was because he was not comfortable with that. I think he really did want to look into it. There's no way that he orchestrated that. And I said, there's something else going on here. about a mile and the light seemed to uh, intercept me so to speak came uh, came right upon me it was painful the, the light was extremely brilliant and painful i closed my eyes and i heard the sound of breaking glass and that's the last i remember Johnson was unconscious for 40 minutes before he radioed for help and was taken to the hospital. A doctor and later an eye specialist confirmed that Johnson had suffered mild welder or flash burns to his eyes. Let into secrets long buried by successive governments. I mean, you were called and told to turn up, I think, to a hotel room somewhere in Washington. Yeah, a hotel City. lobby. It was a big meeting space in a lobby in Who was there? Chris Mellon was there, and of course the purpose of it was for me to meet Lou Elizondo, so he was there. I was shown these documents that were blew my mind. What were the primary revelations in that story that made people, probably for the first time, sit up and say, wow, UFOs are real? Well, I think there were two. The first revelation was that there was a secret program within the Pentagon that had started in 2007 that had been studying these objects. So this had been for 10 years secretly being studied. Now, you don't have a program studying UFOs if there's nothing to them. The second revelation was the Nimitz case that happened in 2004. There's a lot more to that case that we were able to report, but we got that case out there in the Are these objects intelligently controlled? Some of them clearly are, yeah. Could they be Russian, Chinese, or any other Conceivably, we're, we're entertaining that possibility, sure. What do you think? The problem with that is that in some cases, the performance uh, of these, these vehicles is so extraordinary, it's so radical, that we don't understand how it's possible even. And so it's difficult for us to imagine how um, our, our terrestrial rivals could, could, could master that kind of technology. For 
instance, Barb would say that she didn't think it was your idea. But yeah, I don't. I wonder where that came from. Well, if I understand your question correctly, you're you're suggesting some people believe that we somehow did this in league with government authorities oh. to mock the idea of those lights being extraterrestrial. That maybe there was pressure from the military or the government. No, there was no conspiracy behind it at, at all. No, we weren't trying to cover up anything. We were, we were just trying to make light of it. In April last year, here at the Pentagon, the U.S. Department of Defense made an unprecedented admission. It acknowledged that the videos taken by their fighter pilots of unidentified objects are real. They certainly didn't behave like anything from this earth. I'm pretty convinced they had to be quantum based. Thank you.